Hello and welcome to News Across Nigeria on Channels Television, where we bring you news from across the country. I'm Jokhair Rogers. We start off the program today from Yobe State in Nigeria's northeast region, where multiple explosions have left 18 people dead. The blasts went off at the Buhari housing estate in Damoturu, the state capital. The local correspondent in Yobe State says that the injured have been taken to the Sanya Bacha Specialist Hospital, where they are receiving the treatment. Well, today's blasts come less than a month after a suicide bomber detonated a bomb at a major motor park, also in Damaturu, claiming six lives and leaving 43 others injured. About 6 a.m. this morning, uh, when Damaturu town witnessed three separate explosions, one at the Buhari housing estate near a provision store where five persons died. At the same estate, very close to the mosque, to another one occurred where two persons died. And then the third one is at the eastern part of the Ministry of Works, a Fulani settlement, where 10 persons were confirmed dead. They went up simultaneously around 6 a.m. It appears a coordinated attack. Uh, Neymar, in collaboration with other critical stakeholders, have evacuated the dead to the mock and uh, injured to the hospital with uh, serious collaboration from the army, police, and other humanitarian workers in your state. The people are used to this kind of thing, but what is uh, peculiar in this very one is the dimension it has now taken. To these uh, explosions occur where you have predominantly populated uh, settlements. But what is awesome this time around is that it has occurred at the Fulani settlement outside the town. And from all indications, I have seen a particular family is targeted where 10 persons lost their lives. As the voice of Bashir Garga Nema, a coordinator in Yobe State. In the meantime, three people have been arrested by the Yobe State Police in connection with extortion, criminal intimidation and possession of ammunition. One of the suspects separated include a 40-year-old man, Kachala Bukhar, who was caught with firearms he possessed illegally, contravening the penal code law of the country. The state police PRO told journalists that uh, they have given their statements and will be charged to court after the police concludes its investigation. Well, hundreds of shops set to be illegally occupying government land are being demolished by the Kaduna State Government. The structures numbering over 300 are being cleared from a site set aside to build a public school. An eviction notice was served on the illegal occupants three months ago, asking them to vacate the land. The demolition is part of an exercise to recover all government land that were illegally acquired by some individuals or groups. In past uh, to the executive council, an investigation, like I said, is ongoing. As soon as uh, all the details are confirmed, there will be prosecution as far as uh, those that are involved in this uh, scam are concerned. Let's move on to some uh, other stories now. Joining the rest, uh, or rather, joining the rest of the world, the Nigeria Labour Congress has marked the decent work day with a rally calling for an end uh, to casualization, salary delay, victimization and other workplace vices. The president of the labor union, Ayuba Waba, who led the rally in Lagos, maintained that no more workers will be maltreated. Well, he used the occasion to call for stronger unity for the labor union. Our correspondent, Loretta Chiogo, reports. With a march, the labor union comes out clearly with its new drive to tackle issues threatening decent work operations. In every speech, the labor leaders led by the NLC president, Ayuba Waba, say the plan is to come down hard on employees who trample on the rights of the workers. 
Nigeria is the leading economy in Africa. But what is the position of Nigerian workers? What is the condition of individual Nigerian workers? Does it reflect the fact that we are the leading economy in Africa? No. We are not well paid. The minimum wage is still below standard. This year alone, many countries have improved and reviewed their minimum wage, including capitalist economy. The US, Germany, UK, most countries have done that. And therefore, our own is also due. And we are going to make formal demand. We want to also use this opportunity to call on Mr. President. Whoever that will be appointed as Minister of Labor must be somebody that will be ready to labor for Nigerian workers. You know of the stories of workers who are denied their pay as are when due. In some states, they are even delayed salary up to two, three months, up to seven months in some cases, until Nigerian Labor Congress stood up to fight for it. A round of applause for Nigerian Labor Congress for standing up to make sure that workers are paid as are when due in some states. The labor union splits into groups with a plan to picket some listed companies which have defaulted in workers' rights. Nigeria is a signatory to the International Labor Organization LIO Distant Work Agenda, which pursues the objectives of full and productive employment and decent work for all at global, regional, national, sectorial and local levels. The agenda has four pillars, standards and rights at work, employment creation and enterprise development, social protection, and social dialogue. Loretta Chiogo, Channels Television News. When we come back on news across Nigeria, it's the first quarter briefing by the Lagos State Governor, Akimumi Ambode. Details in a moment.